congratulations you've got the DVD created and now you are actually running Linux Mint on your computer and you've tested it and you're ready to go so let's show you how to install it double click the install Linux Mint icon it'll take just a few moments for it to load and again depending on how old your system is it could take more than a few moments just be patient when the install screen comes up just choose your language click continue it's going to make sure that you have enough hard drive space and that you're connected to the internet make sure you are if you're on a laptop and you have not connected to the internet you're going to click down in the lower right hand corner on this icon and if you're on a wireless system it'll show up your wireless networks that are available go ahead and get connected before you continue here so once connected click continue and then you're going to get various options on this screen the one you want to choose is erase the disk and install Linux Mint only and it gives you a warning this will delete your files this is the one that you want to choose you don't want to go side by side with Windows you're ready to make the move go ahead and do it these other things are options on whether you want extra security if you're not good at keeping track of passwords I recommend not doing those so we're gonna choose erase the disk and install Linux Mint only then click install now next it tries to guess where you are in the world based on your internet connection or at least somewhere close and this is close enough for me so I'm just gonna click continue it's not gonna find your exact city it's just gonna be in your time zone next you're going to choose your keyboard layout more than likely it's gonna be English for most folks but if you have a different one go ahead and click it and then click continue next you're gonna put your name in you can put whatever you want here on the first box and you can also put whatever you want as long as there's no spaces on the second box so I'm just gonna put here demo you can put laptop computer whatever you want to put there but these next three boxes are critical first you're gonna create a username and part of the security of Linux is the fact that it does use strict permissions and so you want to make sure you know your username when I set folks up I make it very simple I just use their first name lowercase and then for their password I use their first name lowercase and that's only because I'm setting it up and if someone calls me and asks me what the password was if I did it it's their first name if you if you choose something different you need to make sure you write it down and keep it somewhere safe because if you lose this password it becomes extremely difficult if not impossible to get back into your computer and find your data so make sure you know what you're putting in here next you can choose whether or not you want to require a password every time you turn the computer on oftentimes for new Windows XP users I go ahead and log in automatically uh, again that's your choice and you can change that at any time as you can the password in the future but do not forget the password click continue when you're done with this section now your DVD will be starting to work hard and it will start copying the files from the DVD to your hard drive and your hard drive is being erased at this point so Windows is going away and you'll start to see the installation of Linux Mint continue. This process can take as little as 10 minutes on quicker computers, but as long as 30 to 40 minutes on older computers. So don't worry if you sit here and have to wait for a bit. Once your installation completes, you can either continue testing or click the restart now. It'll take just a few seconds for it to shut down and it will eject your DVD and ask you to take it out and then push the enter key on your keyboard and you have just finished installing Linux Mint from scratch.